welcome back to another video. We are in Manchester Airport and we're flying to Spain today. Um, I thought I'd start the video here just because you can't really hear me so well, you know, I've got this on, but obviously I'm going to have this on for the entire time, like through the airport and then on the flight. Also, we're on the new camera, so it might be a bit different. <laughs> So we have landed, we've been here like an hour and a half actually and we got kind of done over by a car hire company so yeah they took the money out of the bank account as well. We went to collect the car and stuff and the booking was there and um, they were just like oh the car's not available but we could see the car like we were just so confused, wasn't it? It was ridiculous. So yeah, we just we just organised something out. But it is such a lovely day here. It's really sunny. It's lovely and warm, but it's not like sticky heat. Like it's not like Dubai heat or anything, which is nice, isn't it? It's like the perfect temp. Yeah, so like overall, it was really it was pretty seamless, wasn't it? Like the flight and everything. But mainly because obviously the UK changed the restrictions like on the quarantine continuing for two weeks like when you arrive back in the UK so I have a feeling that's why the flight was so empty but like the airport were it was all pretty like normal wasn't it, it social distance but going in was quite security yeah yeah they seem to be like putting um like more sort of measures in I have noticed um but that was yeah that was about it really like it's been pretty easy I felt like at ease like I wasn't sort of like worried at all I've just the only time I've taken my mask off is now they are pretty uncomfortable aren't they but just one of those things but yeah that's pretty much like all to report on the UK travel restrictions and stuff like that so we are in the hire car that honestly took so long didn't it it took actual hours to sort that out we didn't and we just the car I wanted. no we had a nightmare to be honest that and that took about like three hours to get everything sorted. We just got completely mugged off. Now we're just finding a supermarket and we're just gonna get some like little bits because it's obviously like nothing and we feel very hangry right now so that's what we're gonna do. We have just arrived in the villa. We've just unpacked like some of our food and stuff. Before we even unpack, we're just gonna get up and out and on a quick run so that we don't avoid, you know, like actually not getting it done. So that is a little plan. I'll show you what I got from the supermarket as well after some. So I brought just like some random bits, like of course I had to bring a little crystal, how funny is this? I really hope I don't break it or anything, just obviously like all my little jewellery array, camera, charges, stuff and then I've only brought two books that like if I run out of reading stuff I can just listen to like audio book but yeah I got um, The Chimp Paradox, I've been dying to read this for ages, Mason's already read this one and I've seen so many reviews that like, it's been out of stock for a while and then I also got Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday, brought my straw of course, <laughs> like, I usually drink my coffee out of that so I had to bring that along and then loads of masks, so we're going to need these these are like you've got to wear them absolutely everywhere in Spain by the sound of things and then three pairs of shades for the first time I actually got ones uh, with a chain well I bought the chain separate so that they don't fall off my face don't know why I'm showing you this but I like to see stuff like this to be fair so today's pre-workout is strawberry and lime flavour This is the hire car thing that we ended up with. We had honestly such a nightmare yesterday trying to sort this out. It's boiling in here. Oh, oh my god. Hello! So it is our first morning waking up in Spain and we have found a gym that is open. Yeah, this one is apparently like there's not really many people there so that is where we're heading now it is the most gorgeous day like blue skies i think i'm gonna train legs today so this will be the first time like actually being back in a gym in like how many months four four months or something like that um so i'm really excited actually but yeah we're just gonna check the place out first like before doing anything last night we what do we do i didn't really vlog anything because we didn't do anything we just we got we in like quite a late run down this mountain thinking oh this is not too bad lovely 
and then realising we have to go back up the mountain and that was the tough part. Yeah, like, yeah so we ran down to, there's like a beach down at the bottom, it's so nice, but it was pitch black when we got there anyway. We like ran up the hill as well, which was so intense, uh, but really, really good and a good little start anyway, because we, when we got to the villa we were like, oh god, we couldn't be bothered, could we? So yeah, we've got our pre-workout, I'll just take you along with us. Gym, gym session. Gym session. That was so good, wasn't it, Mace? Literally, like, oh, I feel like I've got like a massive buzz off doing that. But yeah, just like clean the equipment before and like after use and stuff, and it was pretty much fine. But I got such a good lower body workout in. I could have just kept going and going. To be fair, so it's good. Nice this car, it actually, yeah, I'm so sweaty. There was no aircon in there, so it was just like. Uh, we're just heading to get some brunch at like one of my like all-time favourite spots. We had a protein oats this morning. I just packed my protein in my suitcase. This menu is like super fresh and healthy stuff. Probably like one of my favourite little brunch spots here, and it's got a really nice view. So I'll show you. Berry smoothie, I think. Did you get an immunity one, mate? It's the green chia seed. They're really small, but they do look more trolly. Yeah. Um, to Massey to get some um, bits. Just thought I would show you what we just picked up from the food shop. We went to the Massey Mass. Um, whereas yesterday we just went to like a smaller supermarket where there wasn't as much options, but we couldn't find any like almond unsweetened milk. But obviously because we're staying in a villa, we just will be cooking like quite a lot of the time. So we just got this oat milk uh, unsweetened zero sugar. They did, like I said, they just had the almond one. Um, and then I just picked up this protein cottage cheese by Arla. I haven't actually seen this before. Uh, Mason got hella cottage cheese he is obsessed you guys probably already seen that on some of my food hauls um, again there wasn't much like zero percent fat uh, like lower sugar as well options so I just got managed to find these little pots of yogurt which is great I think that's just like natural and then I picked up some frozen bags of blueberries just two little ones some mixed berries again like to put in my oats like I'm just keeping everything as similar as home because I know we're going to be here like a couple of weeks got some gazpacho like just natural juice absolutely love this then just some stuff for the washing machine to wash our clothes over here we just picked up loads of stuff because the fridge is completely empty so I thought this will last us a couple of weeks whatever. so mainly just some chicken and um, we've got these like barbecue chicken stuff which I thought would be really cool two pack well no we've got three packs sorry of those then just some like lower fat little burger things um they had so much like choice to be fair i was really impressed and then just some like steaks here some more seasoned chicken there quite a lot of meat and then i got a huge bunch of massive avocados these are all ripe i'm just gonna make some in a sec some hummus some beetroot managed to find these like little sandwich things which i'm so happy to see and then these little white pita breads and then i just thought i'd try some of this chocolate which is Spanish brand. I just got 72% cacao and then some cacao with orange for my oats and stuff. Uh, and then just these little rice pots. These just go in the microwave. I just got to keep things nice and simple. So it's some frozen spinach for like smoothies and stuff. 
some more chicken kebabs. Got so many of those. Some coffee cups actually as well. My dad didn't have any. Um, yeah, more like basmati rice, a bit of a mixture. I think that's pretty much everything. Just some mustard sauce, of course. Like this is one of my go-tos. A huge watermelon over there. So yeah, that's pretty much going to last us. I thought I'd try this like hazelnut milk, which looks really, really nice. Like I've never tried that before and I love almond, so yeah. So, I just thought I'd pop the camera on whilst I finish getting ready. We're going to this new restaurant. By the way, I'm half doing makeup, that's why I look like crazy right now. Blotch the rear. I just need to blend this in in a sec. I'm actually sat in the bathroom with this window open. Just thought I'd just prop it here anyway. Today's been really nice. We just had like a chilled day. Had to catch up on a little bit of work, so I just put that off like the past few days. We're gonna go to this gorgeous like seafood, I think, restaurant that I'd seen. It had so many good views, so I was like, oh, we'll have to go there. And it's in, it's like got a really nice viewpoint, so I just thought that'd be a good little shout. So that's the plan this evening. I haven't even set out in the sun yet, like what is going on? I'm just, I just can't wait to, like once I've got on top of work and stuff, I can just sit down with a book, but like I knew that other situation, so I'm gonna to have to continue, obviously still working and everything whilst I'm away, like it's not like a complete holiday, if you know what I mean. So I just wanted to chit chat to you about the gym today, which I still feel like I'm on a complete and utter high. Um, it was so nice to be back, like, oh, it's been so long and I just got the best session in. I probably was in and out within 45 minutes and I did like six movements, which I normally do about five. I was just literally in the zone. I just wanted to carry on going and going. But I just wanted to put out like a few little tips that I feel like would be useful if you're also like just going back to it. I'm trying to do as well is just like, don't go in there with the expectation thinking that don't rack the weights on if you know what I mean. Like just take things a little bit easier and you don't end up giving yourself like the worst doms. So yes, that's the first thing I would say. Next is make sure you've got like the best playlist. Like I put on a mixed cloud today and I got so hyped up, had the best workout. That's like an obvious like must do. The next thing is just pre-plan your workout. Like that's just gonna save you so much time. Cause I reckon you only first go back into the gym and you're like, God, what did I even used to do before? Um, so yeah, having a little pre-plan is really helpful whether that's on your phone. I'd probably say it best on your phone rather than on some notes and stuff just with like health and safety and all of that at the minute. Let me know in the comments how it's been like your first few days back to the gym, what how you found it, like the whole experience and everything. I'm hoping I'm not gonna wear makeup like the whole holiday really. I just wanna let my skin breathe whilst we're here. So I'm gonna finish getting ready, but that was just what I wanted to say. It just came to my mind. Show this cute little view from where I'm sat right now. Also, so I've tried this new foundation. I got this the week before last, I think, and it is so, so nice. I got it in shade sand, and I just sort of took a wild guess online. Like, I didn't know what my colour was going to be, and it is so, so good. Like, it's such a nice finish. Before, I was using NARS Sheer Glow, and, yeah, just thought I'd mention that. Wow. What is it? With, I just can never resist warm bread. I like a lobster sort of dish. I'm not actually sure what is all over the top of it. Some sauce. Mason got the lamb, but we're probably going to share a bit of both. But how nice is this yet? So, just finished our lovely dinner. It's so nice. I got like a lobster dish. It was really nice, but tiny portions. But we ate so much bread as well, so worked out quite well. Oh, quite well. We didn't ask for any bread. They brought us some bread, and it's so warm. A bit of olive oil. It was so, so nice, lovely. wasn't it? So we're just walking. We've got some steps to do, so we're just gonna have a little mooch. We're on like the beachfront. It's really peaceful, and it's really quiet now, actually. So yeah, pretty good day. I'm so happy that we went to the gym and stuff. Um, so yeah, nice. I haven't actually shown you like my dress, but that is because there isn't a full length mirror and I could stand on the sink But I just don't want it to break <laughs> So I'm just about to take off all the makeup favorite time of the day and do like my little skincare routine I think I mentioned I'm using a whole new like skincare brand that's been 
doing so well for my skin, if that makes sense. But let me know if you would like to see that. I don't know if that would be something you'd be interested in. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot more like vlogs whilst I'm away, but also still keeping up like, all my fitness content and stuff. So do let me know if there's anything you would like to see whilst I am here. Um, I didn't even hear you come down those stairs then. That was a slippery snake. In fact, just on the way back, we saw this guy, like, what was it that he put? It looked like a natural snake, like, he had this, this long thin thing, thing that fell out of his car. car. Anyway, I'm going to finish up this vlog here. Loads of more content to come. Um, but yeah, like I said, just let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, I'd love you to stick around by subscribing and liking this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.